Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back. Today we are going to, we're going to bring Homer his wife and we're going to paint Margie. <laughs> So on our Simpsons character painting series so far, with just the one, we have Homer. I mess, I mess up at the end of this and then I end up messing up Homer. We'll, oh, we might talk about it. We might not. Um, let's send him on his way. And we're going to start with a blue and <laughs> blue and I Heart NY from Madame Glam. And we're going to ombre them to create an ombre. <laughs> Um, and then we will get to painting Marge. We'll do the outline and everything. We'll draw her first and then we'll paint her and we'll go step by step through the drawing process. I'm hoping I won't be too sidetracked. I have one, I have three screens on with three different tennis matches at the moment. <laughs> So I'm trying not to get distracted. I'm waiting for a match to come. Oh, there's been bloody protesters just now coming on with very Britishly protesting with um, confetti and jigsaw puzzle pieces, throwing them on the courts and then getting dragged off um, wallies. So we're going to use Madame Glam's brown gel paint. Ready? Here we go. We're starting, like we did with Homer, with a circle. It's an eye. Done. Then from the right, we're going to, so that line doesn't come right to the bottom of the circle. It's just a little bit up, straight line out, then a curve. And this one doesn't come all the way to the end of that straight line. It stops short. And then we can work out where to put the next eye because we know that the side, circles don't have sides, the side of this circle is going to end at the end of the nose. So now I need to make... The other circle bigger so we'll faff around with that a little bit i was until now curing each step as i went with the spongebob series but these ones i am um, doing the whole outline the whole sort of drawing it before curing just in case i make mistakes and it affects the next bit so and then i'd need to change the next bit as well but i couldn't because i'd cure the bit before and so on so from this side of her eye and just above her nose we're going to come out a little bit and then we're going to mark out where we want her smile to end which is about eight o'clock if the eye on the left was a clock it's about eight o'clock and out a bit so we'll bring that all the way around to there I think I brought it out too far on the right side um and I did end up correcting it she has a little C on the end of her smile and then about halfway between her nose we have another little C there just little C a back to front C and then a curve where her neck is going to be and then we are going to look at that curve why oh so the, the we're going to draw her beads on now three of them are full so we'll start with the one that's directly under the little chin we just made. And there are three beads that you see the whole bead of. And we can... <clears throat> Sorry, I just choked on my own saliva. I'm trying to... My body's trying to kill me off. Um, oh, for goodness sake. And my brother's trying to kill me off as well. Broski. Sorry about that. So then after that necklace, we've done, we've done little curves. Just a wrap going over the full bead on the right and then these ones are going to be flat at the bottom because we're going to do a little line here do it then where <laughs> i have no patience today um where her shoulder is going to be so you're not going to get a full bead there because her shoulder is blocking them so yeah the ones on the right after the the furthest right bead we just did a little sort of c around that bead and then a smaller c around that bead so here we're putting a little curve for her shoulder and then adding some more um beads oh and then from there on the shoulder from about there the middle of those beads her neck comes up and it comes up to the side of the smile 
that's where you want to get to you want to make markers of everything you've done so far use that as a marker as to where to put the next step and then we have if my phone makes one more noise i'm gonna lose my shit dark maltesers yes right that's that's sorted so we've got to see he's at the shops getting me sweets um so that was a c for her ear and now i'm going to mark out an eyelash because i want to make sure i don't go too close to it or or i do go up to it but not beyond it for the next step so now we're going to do um more little curves and they look like they're going the wrong way for her hair but that's the inside bit of her hair so we've got two backward C's and then we're going to do U shapes just along above her eyes. Oh, it's going wrong again, isn't it? Sorry. So marking out again where the U's are, looking at a picture of her. You could just do a bunch of U's and who cares where they are. But I'm trying to sort of be as close to the picture as possible. And then this one at the end here just curves round to meet her eye. And then we can start the outside curves of her hair. So that one goes, starts above that last one we did and goes round to her eye again. And then we'll do some more going. Oh, they're going. Oh, they're going the same way as the ones on the left, but they're now poking out. And we'll, st <laughs> we'll start. I'm really sorry. And then we'll start about halfway between her neck, uh, halfway between the line that was the neck. And we'll start doing the outward um, curves. So more C shapes. That one went up to there on her ear. And then, oh, what are you doing? I don't know. Just trying to, oh, that's it. I'm trying to point out that the, where these curves end, so the end of the curve is in the middle of the curve opposite it. The ones that we've already done, the curves going the other way. And I wanted to point that out, but then I kind of didn't follow it too well. Oh, no, no, it's not too bad. See, well, no, that's kind of straight opposite the other point. Never mind. Um, it's not that big a deal, but I was pointing out that that's how it goes. And then I'm trying to sort of tilt everything so it goes this way. Because her head leans back, it's not directly straight up. Is it? Can't remember. No, we're having it tilt back a bit. So we'll just angle everything to the top left. Yeah, and we'll leave a little gap there. Because that's the background. So then her shoulder we're going to bring round just off the nail. And then, oh, then we're doing her dress and her like boobs. I think I made her a bit too booby. We're just doing a, a, a curved line that comes out and then goes in for her dress. And then this bit here is her shoulder. So we'll come out from the necklace and straight down because the arm on the right there will disappear behind the dress. And then we'll add little and I mean we're going to cover this up when we color it in but it's good to get it all on so you can see whether it's going to look okay that line I think I end up changing because I was some on some of them it looked like it was curved so that it went in a u shape the other ones it was curved in an upside down u shape some it was straight across I can't remember what it ended up being but um we'll find out if you hang around stick around let's see how this pans out so I cured the all the brown and now we're going to use the white gel paint to fill in her eyeballs there's something off about her I think in the end and I think because where I you'll see when I I hope you just didn't hear <laughs> the frog in my throat um where I've brought her mouth out from below this eye I brought it out too far and then I used the color behind what, what am i saying here oh I'm br i've decided to bring an arm around here because i didn't think there'd be much yellow and i didn't just want loads of her green dress so i'm doing a line there and then here so it goes off page her elbows off the page but her arm isn't um, we'll talk again in about what i was talking about just now in a sec we're going to use the yellow gel paint i've cured the white and we're going to do one coat of the yellow gel paint as is. This bit here is the bit I'm going to talk about in a sec. One coat of yellow gel paint as is. And then the second coat, I'll be mixing it with Sun Days, which is uh, Madame Glam as well. Um, don't forget, you can get 
money off at Madame Glam. There's links and discount codes in the description box. And I am speaking to them about the deal with the 50% code at the moment that it's not letting you use it because they've already got a sale on, but the sale isn't quite 50%. So, you know, I am, I am speaking to them about that. So hold off because I will um, hopefully uh, have a solution to bring you for that. Um, yeah, that bit of the mouth, I brought it out too far. So then at the end, I was looking at her like something's not right about you, Marge. Oh, this bit here was going to hump around the beads, but just went for a straight line. Um, so I used the blend color. I blended some of the background colors to get the ombre color that we got in the background, the purpley, and then painted over some of the yellow of her face and brought it in a bit. But I still feel like there's something a bit, something not right. And I, I should have just started her all again. But um, I'm just couldn't be asked, really. There's no other reason. Just couldn't be asked. So, yellow is done. First coat. Nice and thin with yellows. Remember, yellow's an asshole. I'm sure it doesn't mean to be, but in general, yellows are assholes. They like to bubble in the lamp if you go too thick. So, we're going to mix these now and do a second coat. And it doesn't look any different whatsoever to the yellow gel paint, but it is a little tiny bit. Um, so, yeah, I won't show you all of it, but we will go over all of the yellow bits again. I hope you're all all right. Is everybody OK? I hope so. I do read the comments and I haven't replied to many recently because Wimbledon's on. So, you know, you're lucky you're getting a video at all. <laughs> Joking. It's because I love you. That's why I'm here again. Um, I want to talk to you. <laughs> um, so we're using your Sublime, Sublime, from Madame Glam, which is a new, one of their new colours. And it's a bit brighter than Marge's actual dress, which is a lot more sort of pale and pistachio than I thought in my head. But I thought this was as bright as I can go without changing it too much. Um, without it being like a totally different green. Oh, shoot the poop. Is that match finished? Am I, are they going to come on in a sec? Oh, God. Um, yeah, so we've gone that because I wanted to keep them all bright and their dress was a bit pale. Now we're going to mix dynamic blue and blue gel paints to do her hair, um, which I am doing probably a little bit darker than it is but I didn't want it to blend in too much to the background blue. And then, oh no, it's Heather Watson. Okay, it's fine. Um, sorry. And then we'll, we'll fill in all of this with this blue mix that we've created. Yeah, her dress, there was something about her face and there was something about her boobage area. Um, I added a shadow at one point, which I think is in here, but I did get rid of. And it was like, she, I don't know, it was like porn star Marge. Um, so we, I think I got rid of that. <clears throat> Making sure to go around her ear when we're doing this blue bit. Don't cover it up too much. And just being careful to try and keep the, the curves, especially around her face, so that the bit in between each curve is nice and pointy. You know the bits? Do you know which bits I'm talking about? Yeah, I bet you do. You know. You know which bits. You're smart people. I mean, not too smart. You're still here listening to me, putting yourself through this. <laughs> right, so her hair's done. We're going to take the red gel paint as is, and we're going to do her beads, which I started off doing with a brush. Brush. Oh no, and now I'm using a dotting tool, sorry. This is a really small dotting tool. Really small dotting tool. So I'm getting the three beads that are fully round on first. And then I'm going to cure them because I don't want them, because it's polished so close to more polish. I didn't want the bits in between each bead to kind of bloop and join up. I wanted them to stay defined. And then I, oh my word. And then I am using... Is he back? He can answer the door. Um, I am using a brush to do the um, non-full round beads because a dotting tool would make them 
full and round. <laughs> so we'll go right behind her neck. No, well, right up to the neck. Can't paint behind her neck. It's too late. And then we will full cure. And we do add some little highlights to these beads, which I think make it look really cool. Oh my God, there's so much fucking noise in my house right here. My brother's here. My niece, he's just picked my niece up from school. So she's here as well. Black gel paint. We've cured the beads. Black gel paint. I've done one eye off camera because I just can't do them on camera. So we're going to then outline the nose. And I think we sort of go in the order of how we put it on there. Not that we needed to. Um, but that's what we do. Yeah, and her nose doesn't come all the way across like Homer's do. does on the bottom side of it. And then I put the other eye on off camera. And this smile bit I did like 50 times and outlined this. This bit here, right here, is the bit that will change it will just be smaller, like shorter um, at the end, you'll see. So we've got her smile on and then we'll just outline everything. Her chin and is someone at my door? Hello, I'm just doing a voiceover. Okay, like I'm recording right now. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, love you. Fuck off, bye. Um... <laughs> So we're just outlining everything here. I promised myself I would do this in one take. I don't have the time to stop. or well, the patience. Her eyes, her pupils, I did them too big, made them too big. But one's, this one here is the centre but to the left a bit. And then the other one's sort of pretty much centre. Um, and then we're going to outline her, her, her hair, her, her. And with this with Marge because there was something not quite right I feel like it might be the same with all of them because they're, they're pretty plain you know so we do we are going to add some highlights and some shadows and things and that's what makes a big difference although I think I did I made the shadow on her eyes too dark um and then I thought I need to do Homer's to match. So I went over his and now I feel like the whole thing's all just too dark and I'm annoyed. Oh, eyelashes. That's what was missing. Eyelashes. Just four little lines. In the picture, the fourth line on this one was further to the right and sort of in her hair, which I did, but it just looked messy and I didn't like it. So we're going to get them all in the yellow zone. Oh, and her ear is just a curve. And then another curve, 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 just like that. And Homer's was the same, but going in the other direction because he's facing the other way. And now we're going to carefully outline the beads, which where it left, instead of doing all of her yellow and putting the red beads on top of the yellow, I left a space for the beads and then filled them in. But where I filled them in, and a little bit of them did go over the yellow. There was sort of a, a bit ridgy to fill them in, to outline them, sorry. So maybe do her all yellow first and then just do the red beads on top. So I think you'll have a smoother surface to outline the beads around it. Yeah, we're good with that. Okay, um, and now we're going to outline her arms and the back of her dress there. I don't know why I, I gave it no shape whatsoever just dead straight that's fine from the front can't really see it no problem <laughs> and then I decided to go straight across I think I brought the green up higher than it was I was really struggling with it and I think it's because it's so plain that unless it is absolutely perfect I look and think that looks ridiculous or that looks really wrong but I just had to sort of get over it really and then we've added a bit of yellow down there for her arm. See, her boobs are far too big. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to take the BPCA06 from Born Pretty Store, um, which is a jelly black. And I'm mixing some of the hair blue in with it because we're going to do the shading on her hair. And this is when, you know, when you start to do something and you think, yes, it's coming to life. I think it's only when you get to the shading and thing on, on, on these, the shading and the highlight, that it, that it does that. 
So we're going to go around the left side of her hair here, making sure that, we're well, trying to make sure that the U shapes we're creating with this darker blue are even, because it's as if, we've, it's as if she's got a straight line of shadow, but it's scalloped on the, on the inside. So we want to keep the thickness of the shadow um, the same throughout. Um, which and then the U shapes in it make sure they're nice and sort of similarly curved <laughs> and um, oh what was I going to say I just had a point to make about it I can't bloody remember in the same curves as the curves that are existing already you know yeah don't just do scallops any, any which way scallop it in line with the scallops we've already got on that side okay um, is anybody else watching Wimbledon like I am? Avidly. I take two weeks off work, but I'm still working. And I've just filmed Sunday's video. Um, there's going to be a big giveaway. So make sure you come back for Sunday's video. And then we mixed some white with, um, was it with the blue hair? Blue, maybe? And um, we're putting it just a thin line of it down this side. Oh, this, I think, was my favourite bit. Look! She's cartoon now. It's great. We're mixing the black jelly with the yellow jelly to start doing the shading. And I wish I'd have left it like this, but I didn't. I end up making it so much darker. You'll see how I ruined it at the end. So this starts in the middle of the hair above her eyes and goes to the left and then all the way down the left side. Her, the whole of her ear is shaded. And then I brought it down her shoulder as well. And I think that... Oh, no, then we did... I, I added a little bit under the beads for some reason. I don't know. Just thought there might be might be a bit of a shadow there. This is where I get a bit... Whatever the painting term of scissor happy is. What is the painting term of scissor happy? Brush happy? Maybe? I've got a bit shadow happy. So going over that and then I'm going to... Go along the bottom of her nose, just a little bit on the inside. And then I decided to add some under her smile line as well. See her mouth on the right? It's too wide. It's too wide. And I'm mixing white with some of the body yellow to create the highlight colour for the yellow areas. So we put it along the top of her nose and then along her mouth a bit there. Yeah, all that got covered and I made it smaller. And then I decided to come down her neck a bit and down the right side of her body. Our right, her left. Um, <laughs> I'm getting good at my left and right though, aren't I? Like, I don't, I don't think I need to think about them as much anymore. Um, I do question it as soon as I said it though. And now we're taking just white and we're going to do little highlights on the beads. Should maybe have stopped there, but liked it, so just did it on all of them, which probably wouldn't make sense with the way light works. But, I don't know, look nice. I feel like it made it look more cartoony. So that's what we did. And, oh no, we're still doing that. <laughs> I was going to say, and then, then we cure. Get it in the lamp. Yeah, I was something was weird. I'm mixing some black jelly with the dress green to create a shadow colour for the dress. And we're just going to go down the si this side. So if the shadows are on the left, then all shadows... Everybody leave me the fuck alone. Who is it? Okay, it's the Wimbledon app. I'll let you off. Um, if, if shadows are on the left, always be shadows to the left. And then highlights to the right. Um, yeah. Now I'm taking a light grey and I'm going to do the same as what we did with Homer's eyes. I'm going to do this sort of crescent shape to the left of her eyes here. Should have left it like this. Ended up making it darker with um, some black jelly, which I think... Oh, we're going to add, oh, we're going to add some highlight here. So I mixed the dress green with some white just to you see the shadow I made for her boob. <laughs> it's awful. Um, 
Yeah, it's not the vibe I was going for. I swear to God, if the people in my house right now don't quiet the fuck down, I'm going to lose my rag. <sighs> and now I can't remember what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> have you ever heard sort of mildly stressed out, Joe? Not sure if you have. Um, adding some clouds, same as we did with Homer. And when they add the lighter blue at the bottom... Um, I do talk a bit more about them in the Homer video, so if you want more details about them, then you'll have to watch another video. <laughs> the Then I'm top coating with the top Madame Glam top coat, um, and you'll notice in a minute, well, in a second, that oh, I'm, I'm doing this thick, and then I'll hold it upside down a bit to make it, to sort of pull it all towards the centre so we get as straight a light line as possible. So now she looks a bit different, and we'll explain why. <laughs> I have brought her shoulder line down a bit more, just like that. These, I've done little U-shapes using the, the shadow blue and then the highlight blue, just to get make her hair a bit more interesting. And then I darkened up the shadows of her eyes. I tried to get rid of the boob shadow. I darkened the, yeah, I don't know. Did I mess it up? Oh, and I made her mouth shorter on the the mouth bit so here she is with homer the happy couple um i just feel like there's something not right about it and now i feel like i've spent the whole video just moaning about it um i know you don't she doesn't have those bits on her hair in things but her hair was just looking a bit bland so i've darkened the shadow on his eyes now he looks like he he has some kind of addiction um but it's done now. <laughs> I hope you like it. Um, let me know who you think is going to be next. Um, I appreciate you being here so, so much. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And uh, I hope you have a lovely day. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.